the moment of inertia of the cross section about its base AA and the what is the product of inertia. So this is clearly a composite body. I need to break it up into its three pieces. The first is the rectangle, which is 12 inches by 4 inches. Then I have the semicircle, which has a radius of 4 inches. And I have the circle, which has a radius of 2 inches. Each of these is at a certain distance away from the AA line. So for example, the rectangle centroid is 2 inches from the AA line. And then we'll need to find the distance from the centroid of the semicircle and the distance from the centroid of the circle. When I put these into my chart, I need to know what the moment of inertia is for each of these shapes about their own centroid. So Ix prime for a rectangle is 1 12th bh cubed. When I put this in my chart, I have 1 12th. The base is along the axis. So along the x-axis, I have 12. I'm going to cube the one perpendicularly axis, and that's 64. Ix prime for the semicircle. This is the funny one, pi r to the fourth, and then about its own centroid, it's not one-eighth. It's one-eighth minus eight over nine pi squared. So when I plug that in here, I have pi, the radius is four, four to the fourth, and then I have this constant, one-eighth minus eight over nine pi squared. And that gives you 28.098. For the circle, ix about its own centroid is just pi r to the four over four. But it's a whole. So my moment of inertia down here is negative. Negative pi over 4, 2 to the 4th, which is negative 12.566. These are all in inches to the 4th. Because these three centroids, 1, 2, and 3, are not on the AA axis, I have a non-zero D. D is between the AA axis and the centroid of each individual piece. So for my rectangle, I have this 2 inches. For my semicircle, the distance from the centroid to the baseline is 4r over 3 pi. So my d here is the 4 inches from the aa to the baseline plus 4r over 3 pi. So I have 4 plus 4r is 4 also over 3 pi. That gives you 5.6977. The centroid of the circle is 4 inches above the aa line. So D is 4 inches. A of each of them is just the area. So this is 12 times 4, or 48. The area of the semicircle is pi r, to the pi r squared over 2, which is 25.133. And R for the whole, that the area of the whole is pi r squared. And it has to be negative, because it's a whole. So this is negative 12.566. My last column asks you to find the moment of inertia about the AA line for each of the three pieces. If you add 64 and 2 squared plus times 48, you get 256. This is 843.99, and this is negative 213.628, because both AD squared and IX prime are negative. The total moment of inertia about the AA axis is the sum of this last column. That's 886.36. Or to three sig figs, I can say that the moment of inertia about the AA axis is 886 inches to the fourth. And that's my answer to the moment of inertia. The second thing asks us to find the product of inertia. The product of inertia, I, X, Y, is equal to zero for any shape symmetric about the X axis or the Y axis. In this case, what I have is a line of symmetry perpendicular to the AA axis. Because my cross section is perpendicular to is symmetric about a line perpendicular to the AA axis, the product of inertia for the cross section is equal to zero.